Hi everyone and welcome. In this video, we will see how you can read Modbus TCP IP device holding registered data in the node read. Okay, so if you don't have any uh, physical Modbus TCP IP device, then you can use this open Modsim software, which is open source Modbus simulator software. Okay, you can simulate your Modbus TCP or RTU device using this software. So for the learning purpose, I have used this open mode sim software to simulate my Modbus TCP device in this series. Okay, so here you can see my Modbus TCP server is running on the port number 502 and I am simulating the holding register as you can see here holding register. Okay, on the device ID 1 and total quantity of register is 10. Okay, so we want to read this data in the node read. Then how we can do that? So we can navigate to the node read. And yeah, before that, we have to install this Morbus node in the node read. Okay, or you can say the package. So you can copy this from here. You can go to manage palette. And in the install section, you can paste that value. Okay, you can see node read contrib modbus is already installed in my system so i don't have to install it again and once you install it you will see this much of modbus nodes in the uh, node read so you can use this nodes to read the data from your modbus tcp or serial devices now for this video our agenda is to read modbus tcp ip device holding register address okay so what i can uh, do is i can use this modbus read node okay now once you take this Modbus read node, you have to configure this Modbus read node. Now we have to provide the starting address. So we are going to read the data from starting address 0. The quantity we want to read is 10. Okay. And the rate of uh, reading is 1 second. So I am going to read all the data at interval of 1 second. Okay. Now what type of register we are going to read. So we are going to read the holding register. What is the unit ID? So you can say the unit ID is 1. You can see here okay now this is the read holding register node okay that's it now we have specified that what we are going to read okay how much quantity of register we are going to read at what interval we are going to read but we haven't specified from where we are going to read the data so for that you have to specify the modbus client here or you have to create the modbus client here so you just click on this pencil here and here you can specify node read modbus client okay whatever you uh, whatever the name you can specify but i am specifying node read modbus client the type is tcp okay we are going to read the data from modbus tcp device so that's why type is tcp now the host address host address in the sense your device address your modbus tcp device ip address that you have to specify here and here you have to specify your modbus tcp device port number so my modbus tcp device is uh, running in this more sim software and you can see the port number is 502 here and uh, it's running in my local host so i'm going to provide my local host ip address here okay that's it you just have to click on this add button okay and then after you have to press on done button you can see error is gone now we can you know click here and we can add the debug node here to display our data in the debug window okay now we can deploy it confirm deploy okay so you can see it will read the data at every second and it will publish the data here in the debug node okay now if i want to display only first holding register data then how we can do that so if you want to display only first data then you can again take a debug node here okay and uh, here you can display the data in the node status and payload and in the square bracket you can mention zero so it will only uh, display the data of first holding register okay that's it i can press ctrl d to deploy my flow and here you can see 14 20 31 15 okay so uh, this debug node will display the data in the debug window and this debug node will display the data on you know its node status directly okay so this is how you can use node read to read the holding register data of any of your modbus tcp devices available in your network or whatever you have simulated you can use node read to read the data from that device 
Okay, so this is how you can use Node-RAID to read the data from your Modbus TCP device. It can be your simulated Modbus TCP device or it can be a physical Modbus TCP device connected in the network. You can use this Modbus read node, okay, to configure everything and then after you can set the poll rate to read the data at every second. Okay, so I hope this thing is clear and uh, if you want to extract the data, okay, then you can use payload in the bracket zero to extract the first uh, element or you can say the first holding register value. If you write payload and in, in, in the bracket one, then you can extract the second holding register data. Okay, so if I deploy, okay, and if I, you know, uh, change the value to 22, then you will see that 22 here. Okay, and if you want to simulate the another values, then you can also do that. Uh, okay, and the maximum value we want is 300. You can see the last holding register is simulating now. Okay, so this is how you can read uh, holding register data of any of your Morbus TCP devices in the Node-RAID. Okay, so I hope this thing is clear and if you still have any question or any doubt then you can always ping your questions and doubt in the comment section or directly in the WhatsApp, Telegram, Instagram, anywhere. Okay, so let's meet in the next video and in the next video we are going to continue these things. Okay, and we will read the input register data in the node read instead of holding register. Okay, so we will leave these things as it is. We will disable these things and we will add again Modbus read node to read the data from our Modbus TCP device but we are going to read the input register data. Okay, so let's meet in the next video. Till then, take care, goodbye and thank you.